Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my three-cylinder. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of my single or twin cylinder before they got dismantled and got turned into this. Um, but they were a little bit different design than this. They didn't have a... Um, technically, it's not a camshaft, but it's it acts like one. It's basically push rods on a different um, a different camshaft or a different crankshaft uh, you know what I mean um, whereas on these are all the valves here I'll take it apart in a second and show you um, on my previous designs the valve was just attached to the crankshaft and was put up on to the side and offset by a little bit of what the cylinder was. Now I don't know why it's locked, but it goes. Um, now as you can see, the uh, valve camshaft is driven by a chain, and I had to get that pretty loose for it to be somewhat efficient. Um, if it's anywhere near taut, then it doesn't, um, it's not nearly as efficient. Um, hold on, let me tilt this down a bit. Um, so, uh, the cylinders, the pistons, I mean, are offset by 120 degrees, um, which means that all three cylinders makes it around 360 degrees. Um, that was pretty difficult to do with Lego, but not impossible. Um, here's the piston on the number one cylinder. Number two, number three. Um, and if I take this top part off. So, you can see right here the manifold which also goes to the left um, and to the right and in the middle um, you can see that as the engine turns the valve goes up and opens up um, these two holes here um, now if it'll go there it goes um, and you can see those holes are open and as that's happening the air draws the piston up and then by the time the piston is up the valve closes and it goes down basic two-stroke engine um, and that's basically how it works oh and one more thing I forgot to show is um, it's pretty ingenious if I do say so myself, uh, valve design. Um, you can see here the valve is closed because there's a plate that goes on top of here. The valve is closed. Um, here, I'll just put a plate here for demonstration. Um, okay, so you can see here the valve is open and drawing the piston up. And when it closes again, it'll be completely closed off from this environment from this wall but um, it will not be closed off the the cylinder will not be completely closed off because of these little hingy things that I've used and that's been somewhat helpful uh, valve design because it never restricts the piston from going up and down it's always there's always some sort of airflow going in there, unlike my some of my really early designs, which did not have that dual acting valve, and they it just wasn't very quick, and yeah.